Hello there and welcome to this week's Granny's Garden. This week we're going to be having a look at stage two of how to get rid of invasive vines. And this is the mind-blowingly boring part. It's the part where you just have to keep chopping and cutting and taking back and then sticking your fingers in and out of the holes of the chain link fence, trying desperately to get rid of 20 years of a vine and five years of total neglect. So absolutely appalling. I absolutely hate it, but it's got to be done. And there's no one else to do it except me. <laughs> now I will be using goggles because one of the vines I'm cutting back is of course ivy and ivy is terrible for dust. The second you start cutting it accumulates all this debris and all this dust for years and as you cut it it just blows everywhere and especially into your eyes so always wear goggles. Let's go. <laughs> You can probably hear by the sound of my voice, I'm super enthusiastic about this job. <laughs> Yay! The first thing we need to do is get rid of all of this green growth and very narrow stems. So, secretaries, here we go. And just keep chopping. This is just pull and chop and pull and chop. Everything you're seeing you see, that you can chop with the secateurs. You don't even have to, to aim. As soon as you see something poking out of the chain link fence, cut it. See this one winding in and out? Just keep pulling it. Just be careful you don't cut the fence itself. It's quite easy to do actually. Now see, we've only done around 30 seconds and already this part is a lot cleaner. See this is in and out, in and out, in and out. So let's just chop it down a bit. Let's see if we can start to get rid of it. And as you can see here, part of the ivy is in actual fact dying. Other is on its way, and some of it is still green. But a lot of the branches are quite dry. Now you can see my neighbour has taken out her side of the vines, which is absolutely fantastic. There are, of course, little twigs and what's remaining, but that's just a question of grabbing hold of them with your hands and breaking them and breaking them off. No particularly big deal here. There are some heavier ones down here that I'll just have to work out how to get them out, but get them out, I certainly will. It makes it easier to see where the stumps are. Now, if you remember in the last video, I treated all of these stumps with stump killer. That was about three weeks ago, so in about two weeks' time I'm going to have to start the not very nice job of having to lift all of these stumps, and there are loads of them. Some of them in big clumps, some of them in smaller clumps, but they are all along the fence. So, I've got my work cut out for me, because as you can see, it is a very, very long fence line with loads and loads of stumps. So I've got my work cut out for me. Well, that's phase two done. So the actual chain link fence is now clean. And all I've got to do now is rake the whole thing up, then cut it and then bag it. Another chore I absolutely love. <laughs> so please remember, be careful what you plant. All I've got left now is in about two or three weeks time to go and actually lift the stumps themselves and that will be the end of it or should be the end of it. Even so, for the next two years I'm going to have to keep a really good eye out on the ground to make sure there's no more vine sprouting, particularly in the case of ivy. So I'm going to get down now to bagging everything I've been cutting today. So I'll see you here next Friday in Granny's Garden. Bye bye now. <laughs>